This is the part 3 of the tutorial. We are going to look at the code when the game is over. So the game is over when the cactus touches the dino. So let's start with the cactus. When I start as a clone, I need to constantly check in whether the dino touches me. So forever loop. If touches Dino, I'm going to broadcast game over. And when I receive game over, I'm going to stop all the scripts here and delete the clone. So I'm going to stop other scripts in this right, and I'm going to delete this clone. So this is for the cactus. Let's look at the Dino. When the game is over, what does the Dino need to do? When I receive game over, I also need to stop all other scripts. But I also need to check whether user press the space key. If user press the space key, I need to restart the game. Forever loop. If space key pressed, I'm going to broadcast restart. But here, there's one thing we need to take note. If Dino dies, game's over, and user press the space key for the first time, we need to restart the game. But if user press the space key for the second time, that's for the Dino to jump. We shouldn't restart the game. So we need something to indicate whether the user is playing the game or the user is trying to start the game. Go to variables, make a variable called playing. Instead of just check whether space key is pressed, we need to check two conditions. So this is one condition. And the second condition is to check whether user is playing at this moment. So go to operations equal to when playing equals to zero, that means the user is not playing. And when he press the space key, we're going to restart the game. So let's put it here. Now, when are we going to set playing to one? We need to go to sprite. When the ground receives restart, meaning user starts to playing, I'm going to set playing to one. Come here, set playing to one. And for the ground, when I receive game over, I need to set playing back to zero. And I also go back to the center of the screen. I'm also going to stop other scripts and delete this clone. And for the game over sign, when I receive game over, I'm going to show. Now let's try. When Dino dies, game over is shown. So this is part three of the tutorial. It's all the code we need to do when the game is over. And in part four of the tutorial, we are going to improve the game. So we will make the background move faster as time goes. We will also tell the user how long he plays the game.